This video will cover the topic graphing a line given its equation in slope-intercept form, integer slope. Let's break it down. We say that an equation is in slope-intercept form when it appears in the form y equals mx plus b, where m and b are constants. Let's look at an equation that fits this description. Consider the equation y equals negative 4x plus 3. We can see that it's in slope-intercept form because it follows the form y equals mx plus b, where m is negative 4 and b is 3. Why is it called slope-intercept form? This is because when we write an equation in, in this form, m will always be the slope of the line and b is the y-intercept. So in this case, the slope is negative 4 and the y-intercept is 3. With this information, we're able to graph the line of the equation y equals negative 4x plus 3. Where should I start? One way to do this is to graph a point on the line and then use the slope to find another point on the line and finally connect those two points with a straight line. Looking at our equation y equals negative 4x plus 3, we know that 3 is the y-intercept because b equals 3 in this case. So the point 0, 3 is a point on this line. And we can graph that right here. Now we can use the slope to find another point on the line. The slope of the line is defined as the rise of the line over the run of the line, or the vertical change over horizontal change. We know that since m equals negative 4, our slope is negative 4, which is the same as negative 4 over 1. This means that every time our line changes vertically by negative 4, it will change horizontally by 1. So if we start at the point 0, 3, and then move vertically negative 4, and horizontally 1, we will be at another point on the line. Starting from 0, 3, our y value changed by negative 4, and our x value changed by positive 1, giving us a new point of 1, negative 1, as shown on the graph. Since this is a linear equation, meaning its graph is a straight line, we only need two points in order to graph it. If we connect these two points with a line and extend that line in both directions, we will have graphed the line represented by this equation. Is there another way to find the second point? Yes. Another way of finding the second point would be to take an x value, other than the one we've already plotted, which is 0 in this case, and input it into the equation of the line. For example, if we had chosen x equals 1 and then plug that into our equation, we would get the value y equals negative 1, which yields the point 1 comma negative 1, the same one we found the other way. So to graph a line given in slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b, we first plot the y-intercept given by b, and then we plot another point that satisfies the equation, and finally we connect the two points using a straight line. You got it.